all right hello guys today we are going to make a web browser using visual basic 2010 express you can use the same tutorial for uh, making web browser with 2008 version or 6.0 all right so let's just start making the web browser you need to in order to make the web browser you need to go to new project and select windows form application okay and wait for the form to load and after it is loaded you can expand this to the extent you want I'll be expanding it till here alright and after that you can add you can click web browser and just click on the form alright after that there will be a small arrow on the right click that and click undock and parent container after you have done that you can expand this to the extent where you actually find a line small line um, and at the corner and once that is done you can yeah now it is okay now click on the forum and go to the text on the right in the properties you can even change the text to your own name of the window let me call it web browser All right. web browser so this is our display window this is our web browser named now we'll be adding few buttons and label okay this is a label we need to, we can add this label into our web browser just click it and go to properties change the label to search all right Allow. adjust it to the position where you want to actually uh, you know all right once that is done, add the text box. Decrease the size of the display window if you want. Once that is done, you can add a few buttons. Alright, click this button, expand it a little and change it to go. This is our go button. Yeah. Once the go button is ready, you can add another button for stopping the page. Click it. Go to properties, text, stop. And there we go. Alright, that, that is our stop button. Then we can add go backward or forward button as well. Yeah. Button. Click it. I'm be I'll be using less than for going back and greater than. going forward
टू राइट आर वी आर इन इट हियर कैन मूव इट टू द राइट या आई कैन एड अनदर बॉटल विच इज रिफ्रेश रिफ्रेश बॉटल Yeah, I think the form is ready. Yeah, yeah, that's. I think the form is ready. Now you can double click go button and type in the following code. If you cannot see the code, you can uh, just put the link in the description below. The browser one dot navigate navigate and inside the braces you have to write. text one dot text text sorry this is text box one text text box one because this is visual basic 2010 express not visual basic 6.0 in 6.0 you have to actually write uh, text text to one dot text all right that is the only difference then you need to go to stop double click stop and write web browser one dot stop yeah Yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, all right. Refresh. Now write web browser one dot. Refresh. Double click less than button. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Double click less than button. And write web browser one. dot go back all right double click greater than button web browser one dot go forward go forward yeah i think everything is ready now um all right so Let's let's just debug it by clicking the green arrow button. You can even uh, press F five for doing that. And ah, uh, all right. We have an error. All right, we have an error. This is the error. And I'll tell you how to fix it. All right. Um. In order to fix this error, you have to actually go to your Visual Basic uh, folder. Inside the Visual Basic folder, you need to go to. Actually, first you have to save save this application. Save uh, the form as on the desktop. All right. All right. once that is saved you can i click save all and you can save uh, the your application windows application i can can name it anything and call it uh, web browser all right save it in the projects save yeah these are small things that you need to do then you need to go to your application that is web browser inside do documents uh, visual basic 2010 projects and 
go to obj x86 debug and then let release let me check release now yeah actually you need to go to application designer dot vb all right and edit it with notepad i have notepad plus plus for doing that and once you're here you need to if you cannot find some version uh, kind of thing then you can go to assembly info dot vb yeah yeah here here we have it so what you need to do is inside the assembly info dot vb which is i think in the web web browser uh, my project and then assembly info dot vb all right in that you need to change the assembly version to 2.0.0.0 all right copy it paste it in the assembly version and assembly file version as well save it now let's try to debug it again yeah there we go so we have fixed the error and now we can you know use our web browser window so I'll be typing google.com first go so yeah and now let me search something this is working and now you can search something like um, animation just search in animation okay uh, now I can go back by using the less than button and go forward by clicking get than button I can refresh the page by clicking refresh button and I can stop the page in the middle so uh, I can go to youtube.com let me just go to youtube.com and alright there will be some copyright issues so Click, click the less than button the stop button also works um, all right in some in some pages like this one there might be some problem with the scripts okay we can click the stop button and you see the page has stopped but again I'll click the go button and you see in some pages there will be a little there will be a small error in the script all right we need to make some small changes because this is not as advanced as google chrome or firefox but just click yes so uh, in the upcoming tutorials i'll be showing you how to actually you know get rid of the error and not only that I'll be showing you how to make as advanced uh, browser as Chrome okay so yeah so there will there'll be this pop-up alright let me close it and now we need to save it as exe file so that we can give it to our friends or upload it so you need for that you need to once you have saved it you can go to um, bin inside the same uh, projects web browser web browser bin debug and there will be this icon exe file uh, which is which can be used as which ones which can be used as exe file so once you double click it it is an exe file so sometimes your antivirus may create problems but yeah here we have it and you can give this this exe file to anyone and and the browser will be working all right
you can give this exe file to anyone you want and the exe file will be working on all windows operating systems so yeah that's pretty much and thanks for watching subscribe for upcoming tutorials as i'm going to show you uh, how to make advanced browsers like google chrome and firefox using visual basic in the upcoming tutorials okay